Hello my beautiful friends and today I will be doing a different kind of video. I'm not doing a makeup tutorial and I'm not doing a no buy project pan or any of those. Um, today I will be talking about beauty on a budget and this is a homemaker edition. The reason why I titled it um, home maker edition is because I'm a homemaker I stay at home I don't work and um, sometimes it's hard to look good and maintain a proper polished look staying on a budget when you have single income limited amount of money coming in into the family and as you all know um, we have a family of we are a family of five I have three kids uh, five four and two year old and I have a husband and he's the only one working and that's the income we rely on and um, so I'm just going to go over a few steps there are basically five steps that I'm going to mention and those are the steps that you can take and look polished on a budget you don't have to um, buy super expensive things you don't have to um, I um, go to the salon every week you don't have to go um, get your nails done every week there are other things that can be done um, to look good and polished while staying home and saving money okay so number one um, I'm going to say hair color and style let's title that um, if you see me looking down I just have notes by the way and I'm just referring to those so um, choose a hair color um, that is related or similar to your actual hair color uh, For me if I was to go blonde or red I would have to constantly keep on going to the hairdresser or if I'm even doing it at home I would constantly have to dye my hair um, Another thing that comes with dyeing is you're damaging your hair So when you damage your hair you have to go to the salon to get treatments done or you have to buy treatments at home um, masks and stuff to do at home to fix your hair and uh, that costs money on a single income it's very hard for a family of five um, to spend that kind of money I know for me for this length that I have to dye my hair or to get highlights let's say to get highlights it would cost me about hundred and ninety dollars to get highlights and that's not including the haircut or treatment or anything um, so that's a lot of money let's say if I was to dye my hair or get highlights twice in a year that's almost four hundred dollars and that's a lot of money so basically that money is just going down the drain we're not making anything out of it just so you know FYI I do dye my hair sometimes at home I have gotten it done from the salon as well um, Last year, I, well, no, not last year, this year, I dyed my hair um, twice. I tried to dye my hair, sorry, last year, <laughs> we're in 2020, I'm sorry. So last year, I dyed my hair only two times, and I try to limit it to twice a year rather than doing it every couple of months. I don't want to damage my hair. My hair is super healthy now. This is nothing in. Um, I just have a... Um, coconut um, oil as a conditioner in my hair right now just on the ends um, and just so you know like yeah so the and I dyed it in April and in April I dyed it brown natural brown and then I just wanted to go back to my original color my hair is brown black so I dyed it black jet black um, I believe in June for ETH or July and Eve, yeah. One of the months I dyed it again black and I've left it since then. And this is my natural hair color. I've gotten a haircut, um, but I didn't get my hair dyed. So I do get my hair cut done at the salon. I used to trim my hair when it was long myself, but now I want layers and sometimes bangs, so it depends. Um, so I do get it um, cut and styled twice. And that doesn't cost much, to be honest. That costs about like $30, $40. And yeah, so you're saving a lot of money just by cutting down the hair color and treatments and all of that. So the second 
uh, thing that you can do is be your own esthetician. Um, saying that is you can do your own eyebrows, you can do your own facials, mani patty, IPL treatments. Um, so I'm just going to tell you what I do. Ever since I had my second child, which is now four, turning five, my daughter, um, I stopped getting my eyebrows done. Um, every time I would go get my eyebrows done, they would either thin it out or mess up and I was just tired and frustrated. So what I do is I fill them in and I pluck them. And I use those um, razor thingies to clean out whatever um, that's left behind to do my eyebrows. So th these are my eyebrows that I've been doing for the last... So five years, yeah, my daughter's five this year. So for five, for the last five years, I've been doing my own eyebrows. I've been doing my own upper lips, my face, everything. So I use the shaver to exfoliate and shave my face. Um, if you like to see a video, I can definitely show you. Um, just comment down below and let me know if you want to see how I shave my face and the things that I do. Um, so the other thing facials is I actually have a steamer at home. So I use that steamer um, for my pores to open up. I use the steamer right after that. I use a clay mask or a mud mask or a enzyme treatment or um, to clean out the pores and uh, blackheads and stuff so that really helps as you can see um my skin uh knock on wood has been pretty good i get breakouts here and there that's because of the food i eat and whatnot and randomly like it would come up but uh nonetheless like everything is good i don't have any hyperpigmentation i don't have any acne scarring nothing and that's all. I do nothing. Last time I probably got a facial uh, professionally was like six, yeah, six years ago. And that tells you like you don't need to have flawless skin and go to get facial done. Um, you can do, I have different kind of masks. I have, um, I have uh, chemical peels. I have enzyme treatments that I do randomly. Like I have days set on my calendar. Tells me what I need to do. I do derma roller sometimes. I do PMT. Um, and just so you know, lately I started doing IPL at home. I don't have the money to go get laser done maybe before but having kids uh, and when I was working I probably could have afforded that but now I can't afford laser treatment so I do my own IPL as I've mentioned in, on my Instagram I don't know if you follow me if you don't follow me follow me on my Instagram the link is down below in the description box um, I do my own IPL at home and I have no hair around this area now, like no peach fuzz, no peach fuzz around my upper lips anymore. There's some random ones I get here and there, like right here, or maybe one or like two hair over here that I'm still working on my treatment. My treatment is supposed to end in March. So we'll see. I'll give you more update in March, at the end of March, um, how that went. And I get hair like little right here like on my chin around ever since i had kids the hormones made my hair pop up here and there on the chin so that i'm still getting with my ipl treatment but eventually that will fade away and i've been doing my own underarms like i don't get my body waxed i used to i used to get um bikini wax i used to um but not anymore i do my own legs i do my own underarms my bikini um just so you know i started doing ipl on my legs and my i've been doing it on my underarms so far i haven't seen any improvements um well underarms is getting better but like my legs is amazing i only started a little while ago and i've seen great improvement like my hair does not grow for a week on my leg already and i've only done like Two or three treatments so that tells you and if you like to know i can do a separate review on the ipl device that i've been using and we can go over um so that's pretty much what i would say you can do your own um personal stuff at home and still look good um the third would be mix and match mix and match means going through your closet um, putting different outfits together, coordinating. Um, I know 
we have a lot a lot of stuff that we can mix and match but we just choose to wear the same outfits again and again but what you can do is pair this different top with a different instead of wearing it with jeans wear it with the skirt like the dress you can wear a blue jacket over it a blazer over it you know um the loose fitted shirts you can tuck in and make it look dressy with the dress pants uh, like t-shirts and that's in fashion right now um even for desi outfits um we can pair a different shirt with different trousers different dupattas there's so many different options that we would have i've been doing that for a very long time and you've probably seen it on my instagram whenever i post pictures you'll see me repeat stuff but it would be in a different shape and form sometimes i repeat the same outfit but it depends where i'm going if it's different gathering different people i would mix and match what i do is usually once i wear the outfit i put it at the back i bring out the new ones from like the old ones i rotate in a cycle so let's say the outfit that i wore today it will i will not be wearing that in another two years or one year let's say or in a couple of months because i'm rotating constantly i have a rolling um i have a display rack in my closet and i display outfits in that and i pair them together and that's how i coordinate and create my own outfits okay so the next number four would be look polished looking polished means getting your clothes altered i know i'm petite i well, even some some of the times like let's say if i order small it's too big or the pants or like you know the blazers or anything jeans i get them tailored i have a personal um person who i drop them off to she works from home and she tailors my clothing even western or um traditional so once you have um your clothes altered you will definitely look more polished the other thing you can do is making sure there's no lint on it the threads are cut evenly um just make sure your makeup is done your hair is done um you're wearing accessories and um when you have all of these you will feel the confidence and you will feel you're very stylish up to date you wouldn't feel like sorry my hair was like sticking up so you wouldn't feel like you know um you just look unprofessional or you look really like laid back or like you know like a bump basically um so when you do that um you instantly like that boosts up your self-esteem makes you feel good you are in a good mood you're about to you know you'd be able to go out i dress up every day i well maybe not one day one or two days i wouldn't but i dress up every day even though i'm a homemaker i stay home i still i pick up my kids and drop them off to school but i still put on a face of makeup not too much of it like this is an everyday makeup look it's simple and easy i get it done i have a timer so i have to get my makeup done in 10 minutes in the morning so this what you see is 10 minutes early in the morning i wake up at 6 a.m get my kids lunch ready and all of that so i don't have much time feed them change them get them dressed now it's winter so getting snow pants gloves hats mittens all of that that takes a long time so and i have three of them so i have to get all of them dressed even though one of them doesn't go to school i still have to take them to school to drop the other two so looking polish is even when i go to the school you feel good you feel confident you know you when you talk to people they see that you're put together you're not all over the place um i hate when you know someone looks at you like they judge you by your appearance i know you shouldn't judge people by their appearance but people do judge other people by their appearance i know i do if i look at someone and look at the way they're dressed or look at the way they're carrying themselves that says a lot about the person so to me that matters and let's say if my clothes are dirty if i have like food on my face my hair is all greasy and disgusting like i know when the other person is looking at me they're like oh my god she's all over the place she has three kids and she's a mess you don't want to do that especially when you stay home because you're already staying home you feel 
like you're not doing anything there's no purpose for your life even though you you are taking care of a house and kids and a husband but you just feel like you know you're not doing anything like to you know to gain anything for yourself but i'm pretty sure like there's a lot of us um that stay home take care of the kids um just you know and we forget ourselves we shouldn't forget ourselves we should always take care of ourselves and um, we should always look after ourselves and make sure that we're put together last my last one is preventative beauty care okay so preventative means let's say i do need to apply sunscreen every day i apply sunscreen every day on my kids as well it's a religious habit like if i don't put sunscreen on my kids uh they will come to me and tell me that you did not put sunscreen on my face you didn't put lotion on my face we didn't put lip balm on our face on our lips sorry so um preventative care is very important let's say if we don't put sunscreen our skin will get burned and we will get marks on our faces and when that happens you need to go through light uh, therapy you need to do special fa uh, facials you can do micro microdermabrasion um, there's a lot of things that you need to do to get that fix so in order for you to save yourself from all that hassle and spending all that money to take care of the um mess that you've created by not taking preventative care just by applying sunscreen is going to cost you a lot of money um there are long-term and short-term um beauty or physical care that you can do um let's say exercise you don't need to go to the gym to exercise you don't need to pay for classes to exercise or lose weight or stay healthy let's say let's not talk about losing weight let's talk about staying healthy for me after having my three kids none of the time not even after having my first one second one or third one i've been to the gym i do go to the gym here and there um but i don't go on a regular basis um i work out at home I have always worked out at home the way my body is. I'm very happy with it. In the middle, I actually lost a lot, a lot of weight when we first moved into this house. And um, it was hard for me to gain it back, but I've gained it back now. And I'm happy with my weight. I'm happy with the shape of my body. And I still exercise. I still work out. I still do what I need to do to stay physically fit and feel healthy like when you do that you just feel good you feel like you don't need to um you know feel lethargic you don't feel like you just want to be a couch potato watch netflix and just eat chips in bed um i know we have our days i have mine too i'm not perfect but my stomach is flat but you don't need to have a flat stomach to be healthy you need to be physically fit and in order for you to be physically fit you need some sort of exercise movement some sort of activity in your life um eating is not an activity <laughs> i know you're using your hands and your mouth but it's not an activity um eating healthy try to eat healthy um eat little meals and eat them every two hours that's what i do to be honest my main reason why i am the way i am is i eat healthy i do eat ice cream i do eat chips i eat everything but i eat in a limited quantity i don't overeat even food like even if i love the food i would not overeat I would still eat in a limited quantity. I know I would still want more. I would still feel like, you know, I can eat more, but I do not. I stop myself. You need to have self-control on yourself um, when to stop eating too much. You don't need to be full. You just need to feel good when you're eating. Um, then, and also another thing is less stress. I know we all have stresses in our lives. We all go through so much stuff. We have bills to pay. We have house to run. 
uh, kids needs to be clean and washed like you know the food needs to be cooked uh, we need to do the house chores we need to do groceries we need to go run out take care of the kids like school stuff like all these things but try to um just meditate or like i pray namaz um so whenever i pray namaz i feel good like i feel my soul has just you know like i've put my burdens away and i'm just resting like i feel good reading quran or reading namaz that's my way but you can do yoga you can um, meditate like i said and there's a lot of things that you can do that will help you feel relaxed a lot of people color i color as well like there's adult coloring books uh, that helps you reduce stress in your life and um some people listen to music um so those are the things that you can do to avoid stress as well and that will help you not age as quickly let's say if you have too much stress it will show on your face and you're going to start to age you'll get wrinkles you'll get like all like dark circles you can't sleep because of stress you have sleepless nights and just for that you have to take care of your like you would have to do a lot to prevent the damage that you're causing by taking stress so just try not to take stress and um just try to let it out and feel better okay so those are the five steps that i would do um to be a beauty on a budget and as a homemaker addition like i said so make sure if you like this kind of content and you stay till the end and like the video please hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and stay tuned for more videos like this i will be filming more home maker edition videos because i know a lot of people that watch my channel are mothers and they're homemakers so stay tuned lots of love bye